Well, hey everybody, welcome back for another Plan With Me video. So this week I am using a Cinderella paper kit called Pumpkin Patch, I think. Sorry, someone is making a delivery outside, so it's a little noisy right now. And yes, we are doing the voiceover Plan With Me this week. I'm sorry. I had a busy weekend last weekend, so I really didn't start planning this week until Monday morning, so the 19th. And... I don't even remember when I did it. I think I did it after I got all my work done on Monday. So I didn't have time to do a whole uh, talk through while I was planning. Uh, also because Nathan was still working, I think, and uh, he has to hop onto meetings and all sorts of things uh, in the middle of the day, sometimes, you know, a few minutes before the meeting. Sometimes the meeting is scheduled like at the last minute. so. Um, and we both work in like the common areas of our current apartment, so we kind of have to work around that. But what I'm going to do is talk you through what I scheduled at the beginning of the week and then what I added in after the fact. So you'll see in the video portion me putting down all of the things that I planned ahead. So all of those things I planned on Monday that I anticipated happening this week. And then at the end, you'll see how the whole spread turned out. I really love how this one turned out. I don't know if it's the pumpkins or just everything was well spaced out. I don't know. I even forgot to put a full box on Thursday, but it turned out fine because I had a lot going on on Thursday. So yeah, let's get into what I planned ahead. So obviously I put down the full boxes except on Thursday. <laughs> All the glitter headers, the bottom washi, I used an Oh Hello leaf pattern washi over the solid orange color washi just because I'm not a big fan of those solid colored strips. I think they're intended to have like sim simply gilded or an overlay or something put over them. I don't love that. I wish they could just stand on their own. I'm sure some people like the solid color, but I personally don't, even though I love colors like orange, but whatever. I just covered it up. I love the pumpkin pattern washi. I wish all of that had just been the solid washi. Uh, and then in the sidebar, I actually covered up the October hexagon because it's blue and that did not go with this kit at all. There's no blue anywhere except in maybe the windows in the scene box. So I just covered that up. Looking forward to next year when I don't have to cover up anything in the sidebar because it's all neutral. Cool. Then I put in a couple of habit trackers like I have been doing, but this week I filled in with the pattern washi. There's like this leaf and bow pattern washi. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera very well because it's very light but I decided to use that to fill in all of the gaps between the habit trackers, the half box, and the weekly checklist that I put in the sidebar. So I tracked exercise, which didn't do a lot of this week, weirdly enough. Uh, going outside, which <laughs> I did three days out of the week. Uh, I use a half box to mark which week of stay at home we're on. So this is week 32. <laughs> and then I've been including a weekly checklist just to track how much grading I get done each day. So Monday and Tuesday, I had a lot of energy. So I got through like 20 drafts of papers that uh, my students are turning in the final drafts for next week. And then Wednesday through Friday were a little lower in energy. So I got through final drafts from their first essay. So that's the side part. And then as far as other things that I planned ahead, um, I teach class on Monday at 9 and at 12, so I use the class labels from the kit. Tuesday I tutor and uh, do all of that sort of stuff, so I just put in a three bow checklist just to mark the three hours of work I did for that on Tuesday. I teach again at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, so I put in another class label, and my office hours are from 10 to 12 on Wednesday, so I put in a regular label for that. Then on Thursday, I have two meetings all every week, so at 9 a.m. and 10 a.m., so I use those same labels, same style of labels that I used for the office hours. I used those there. I think I put in a bill due on Thursday just for my Bank of America card, um, paid that off for the month, and then what else? Oh, I put in another three-bow checklist on Thursday for more tutoring tasks. Um, Friday, I always try to plan ahead for uh, my, the classes that I teach, so I try to get everything on Canvas set up for the next week, uh, send out reminder emails. 
I'm pausing because I'm like, did I send out a reminder? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I put in a lesson planner sticker from the sticker party. This is how I've been doing it every week with the checklist, usually. And the lesson planner sticker, I think I like how it turns out. It's very consistent. And I'm trying to be consistent, if nothing else, as a professor. <laughs> Also on that checklist, I put in a couple more tutoring tasks that I needed to complete. Um, generally, I do three hours on Tuesday, five hours on Thursday because I have those two meetings for tutoring, and then two hours on Friday. That's how I've been breaking up my time, though it does change from week to week depending on when students are available. What else? The only other things that I put in ahead of time, I think, were the apartment tours that we went on this weekend. So we toured two places on Saturday and one place on Sunday. And I think on Monday, I only had the Saturday tours scheduled, so I put those in. But there will be another label on Sunday for a tour that happened on Sunday. But I didn't book that one until Tuesday. I will explain in a moment. And then finally, on Sunday afternoon, I scheduled in my Zoom planner meetup. Um, at the time, I think I just put in the half box and the little Zoom sticker with, from Once More With Love. Uh, other than that, the only other thing I put in ahead of time were the meal labels at the bottom. I love using those, especially because the blue hexagons at the bottom of the planner wouldn't match this week. So then what happened this week? So used a lot of little things on Monday and Tuesday on the, on the bottom half of each day. So uh, Monday I played Animal Crossing. I play Animal Crossing every day. This week I've paid off my home loans, so it's like I don't really have anything exciting going on each day in Animal Crossing. I just kind of go in to check on everybody, um, make more pumpkin DIYs, and give Marshall his daily gift because Marshall is the current villager I'm working on getting his photo from. Uh, we watched some Great British Bake Off. The begin It's the series called The Beginnings on, on I was going to say YouTube, on Netflix, but it's not actually, I don't know, I guess the first two seasons of British Bake Off aren't available on Netflix. So, but then like the seasons are out of order on Netflix, so it's kind of confusing. But you can watch each season without needing to know too much about what happened the previous season, I think, so it's fine. And then I read a little bit of Dracula this night. I'm trying to read before I go to bed. Don't do it every evening, but that, that is the goal, is to read a book instead of scrolling on my phone, because I've noticed my sleep usually is better if I read before I go to bed. Um, oh yeah, I marked on Monday that I was feeling really happy this day. I marked that with a Once More lo With Love munchkin. And I think it's because we did go hiking the day before. So I was just feeling really good on Monday. Did that last the whole week? No. But uh, I felt really good on Monday. I felt super productive. I got everything done. I was feeling positive. It was great. Tuesday, I wanted to mark that my ballot got accepted. I turned on ballot tracks for um, my mail-in ballot. We dropped it off at a drop box on the 18th, and I got the email that it was uh, accepted on Tuesday the 20th. So they moved pretty quick. Uh, if you have something like that in your state, I definitely recommend you do it. It just gives you that peace of mind, especially right now with pretty much most people voting by mail. Um, it's good to know that your ballot was accepted and will be counted in this election. So look into ballot tracking through your probably your Secretary of State like your state's Secretary of State website, that's where you find it for California anyway. I don't know what other states are doing at all. I just know that the Secretary of State's office for California offers that. Uh, then for the bottom of Tuesday, I put in a bunch of little things. Um, I was looking at apartments, which is when I scheduled the Sunday. Sorry, my camera battery died, but I was explaining that on Tuesday is when I scheduled the Sunday tour. So as of me recording this voiceover, we haven't gone there yet, but we'll do that today. I think it's a little out of the price range that we want. It's not like we couldn't afford it, but it would be nice to get a better deal. And I played a little bit of Animal Crossing, so I marked that with a paw print little thing. And then we watched Game Grumps play Among Us <laughs> that evening. Apparently that's my current obsession is Among Us. I don't know. Uh, then Wednesday, I was really tired. I didn't sleep very well on Tuesday night, so I marked that with a Once More With Love munchkin <laughs> curled over the laptop with a spilled cup of coffee because that was my mood. Uh, I ended up taking a nap, so I used another munchkin to mark that. 
Uh, my Oh Hello subscription kit showed up this day, so I marked that with a old Happy Mail sticker from Oh Hello. I ordered it on Monday for context, and it got here by Wednesday, which was amazing. And then Wednesday we actually did take a walk, so that was very nice, and then we continued watching Game Grumps play Among Us. Thursday, I feel like there was a bigger gap of time than how the stickers are laid out portrays, but I read some Dracula because that's the book that the class I tutor for is reading right now. Um, like I said, I already put in the I think I already put in the checklist for the work I had to do that day. And then I actually started painting my nails on Wednesday, but I didn't have space to mark it until Thursday, and it does take me a couple days to get my nails like done when I do them myself. I do a base coat, usually two coats of polish, and then a top coat, and I try to give each layer time to set. So that can take me a couple days actually. But that little uh, nail polish bottle is from a shop called Vintage Lilac Paper. And then we started what is actually season five of Great British Bake Off, but on Netflix it is collection one or something like that. We're watching it all out of order, all of the seasons out of order. <laughs> then like I said, Friday is my lesson planning day, um, but I also played Animal Crossing, so that little Tom Nook sticker is from Oh Hello. We finally ordered from a really good ramen restaurant in town, so I used this ramen sticker from the sticker party. We have been wanting to try this place for a really long time, but it back in the normal days, um, it was really hard to get a table there. Um, by the time Nathan would get home from work, pick me up, and we'd go over there, it was just really difficult to not have to wait for like an hour. So, which would be fine if it wasn't like Friday night and we weren't exhausted. So. We actually got takeout from them, and their ramen was so good. Um, so I texted my former roommate to let them know <laughs> that we finally tried it, because uh, I think they were the ones who recommended us. They, they've recommended a lot of good restaurants here, some of which have unfortunately closed now. Oh yeah, the book stickers on Thursday and Friday are from Simply a Mess, which was the same shop that I used the kit from last week. And then normally I would mark this ahead of time, but there was a new Bake Off episode for this season, so we watched that on Friday night because those come up, those come out on Friday night. Then Saturday we toured two different apartments. The first one we were pretty excited about after seeing the grounds. Second one not so much. Uh, nice apartment, but the whole complex, I don't know, just gave me a weird vibe. So I don't know about that one. And then. Uh, in between those two tours, because one was at 9.30 and one was at 12.30, I decided to go to Pete's, or we went together, but I'm the one who ordered. Um, I finally used my birthday drink coupon, got myself a large pumpkin latte uh, with all the fixings, so I got my money's worth on my birthday drink, and then I got Na uh, Nathan a some sort of breakfast sandwich. Uh, on me, since I wasn't paying for my drink anyway, uh, my drink was kind of weak. As far as taste goes, I, I swear it used to taste better. I don't know what happened. It's fine. It was free. But that but first coffee sticker is from Oh Hello. From some, I think they still include these in their subscription kits, just not the kits that they normally have for sale on the interwebs. I played some more Animal Crossing um, Saturday night. That fossil sticker is from Oh Hello. And then we kept watching Great Bridge Bake Off, so I used a TV little thing from the kit. Sunday, I scheduled ahead of time to film my plan with me for next week. So the YouTube, or it looks like a little play button to me, but it could just be a triangle. A uh, little thing was used for that. I put in the tour that we're going on. The planner meetup was already there, and then we are probably going to carve pumpkins tonight. But we'll see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here, finish this week. Uh, sorry about the weird lighting. It is Sunday the 25th and it's actually really cloudy today. I don't think it's going to rain and if it does it's gonna more like spit but yeah it's really dark so I had to turn on the artificial lighting and it's very yellow so sorry if I know especially up here it's making it look weird but let's just close out this week. So the only other thing I think I'm going to add in is that we're going to carve pumpkins tonight I'm pretty sure. So for that, uh, oh, there's ramen stickers. These are from the sticker party. Um, let's just use one of these labels since that's what I think will fit pretty well in that space. 
And then if anything else happens tonight, then I'll track it later. I'm not worried about making these perfectly finished spreads every time. I do want to get back into more of sharing how I plan instead of just how I put stickers in my planner, if that makes sense. Um, and then here, if I feel like it, I'll put in a little thing to mark that I'm going to film some videos this afternoon while Nathan's at his parents. But um, it's not super important to me that I do either, but I am going to take this little owl. This is a sampler from Simply a Mess. And I'm going to take the little owl with a pumpkin mug. I know, I just don't, I realized this year I don't have any pumpkin activity related stickers for this year. So this is the best I can do. But I think that's cute. I think it matches the spread. And yeah, that is going to close out this week. I will write in the names of the places that we toured for apartments this weekend, but I don't want to fill them in just yet. It'll probably give away exactly where I live now, and uh, I don't want to do that. I also don't want to potentially give away where I'm going to be moving. Okay, so then let's look at what's left of the kit. So I have three fashion girls of varying, varying hair colors. I have two half bo uh, full boxes, especially because I forgot to put one on Thursday. Um, most of the glitter sampler, so that'll be good for leftovers. Little things, date dots and labels and some half boxes, mostly washi and work labels, headers, and more labely things. This whole page of checklists and labels, and then this with the date covers, another full box that I could use on a leftover week, and all sorts of other functional stuff. So yes, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having lots of fun. I know I am with pumpkin stuff right now, so. Uh, I, I think that's the biggest reason why I loved this spread. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.